Hey guys, so it is that time of the month again. It is favorites time. The first thing I have to talk about is the new foundation that I have been using in the month of August and it is the Maybelline Dream BB Cream and I really love this stuff. I think it gives great coverage for being a BB cream and it also has 2% salicylic acid in it so it kind of treats your acne a little bit and so I really like that about it and I think that it definitely just gives you really great coverage. I'm wearing it today and even like adding concealer and powder it just still will give you like really awesome coverage and even though it's not like a heavy foundation which I really liked and that's why I switched to a BB cream and I will definitely be repurchasing this when I run out. I don't think I even ever want to go back to wearing like foundation because I just love using BB cream so much. The second product that I have been using pretty much every single day in the month of August since I cut my hair as you can guys as you guys can see my hair is kind of a little bit shorter and I also have been wearing it in this kind of like wavy like beachy waves and it is all because of this product right here, the Kevin Murphy Hair Resort Spray, and this stuff is just the most amazing product in the entire world. You spray this into damp hair, and you kind of scrunch it a little bit when it's damp, or it could kind of be almost dry like damp hair. I kind of like, that's what I also do. Or I will also wash my hair at night, wake up with it, like I sleep with it in a bun, and then I wake up, take my hair out of the bun, and then and it's already kind of got like wet and like crimped and I will spray this in let it dry it gives me this like texture in my hair it is so crazy and I don't have naturally curly hair by any stretch of the imagination so this product is super awesome this is the type of product that is only sold in salons Kevin Murphy is like more of a high-end hair product brand so I would check your salons to see if they carry Kevin Murphy but I was actually recommended this product from the woman who cut my hair when I got my hair cut shorter and she was like raving over how much she loved using this on her hair and so yeah I have it and I just use it all the time and I really really love this. The next hair product that I have to talk about is this conditioner and it is the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Reconstructing Butter. This kind of reminds me of the, uh, what is it called, in that like jar. It's really expensive. A bunch of beauty gurus talk about it. It's like the, no, the macadamia um, conditioner, like the deep conditioner. This is pretty much like a very similar product to that, only it doesn't cost $40 or however much it costs. I literally have used the entire thing up. I only like using deep conditioners on my hair. I will never use like a regular conditioner. I will just always use a deep conditioner. I would switch between using this one and using the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Treatment because I just feel like using a deep conditioner, it just is a lot better for my hair. Next product I was sent a while ago from the company Willa and it is this Willa Naturals Face Friendly Clear Moisturizer. I have no idea if you guys can see it, but it's instead of it being a fate like a moisturizing lotion, it's kind of like more of a serum. I actually haven't been using this on my face, but I have been using this on my legs, and this just works so well um, at like moisturizing your legs, like after you shave and you put this on your legs. It makes your legs look so shiny and so smooth. It works really great on really dry areas of your body such as your elbows or your knees. This works really well on your knees. I have just been using this all month to moisturize my legs and it works really, really well. I just love the, I think it's the texture of the product. It works really well at moisturizing. So I actually bought these sunglasses at the end of July and I have been wearing them pretty much every chance I get and they are the Ray-Ban like classic aviator I think these I have no idea I'll link put the name of what they are and I'll link them down below they are the Ray-Ban aviators and they look like this I just love these so much I love the way that these look and I've never had a nice pair of sunglasses and these are seriously worth the splurge these are kind of expensive but I just see everyone like I just see everyone wearing them and everyone looks good in these like I have not seen a person who does not look good in these sunglasses they're pretty much made for everyone 
and they just match with pretty much everything. The last thing I have to talk about is actually a romper. I mean, I can't have an August favorites and not talk about rompers because rompers are pretty much, I've decided, the most fabulous clothing invention of my life. And this is probably my favorite romper of the entire summer season, even though I'm wearing this one by Lily Pulitzer right now. This is slowly becoming my like new favorite romper, but I got this one back in June from Loft, and I got a lot of questions when I got it where this was from. This is from Loft, it's made of this really nice linen material and it even has pockets like are you kidding me pockets on the butt and on the front ties and cinchons at the waist and can we talk about this print because actually like the print of this was just like the reason why I bought it because I love whatever print this is like the white and the blue like I don't know it feels very like Mediterranean or like porcelain China-esque no idea if you can still get it on loft.com but I will check and link it down below for you guys so that is it for my August favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye